I'm Dr. Bart Rademacher, and this is the Doctor's Guide Podcast, raw and unfiltered. And if you've already been following me, you'll understand the value of this incredible podcast and these incredible guests that I get to invite to this show. And today is no exception, because here's the thing. You know, we all desire optimum wellness or optimum health, but how is it that we actually acquire it? You know, there's so much information out there, and a lot of it's great information, but obviously some of that information is not so great or is just not context dependent. And what I mean by that, it's not appropriate for you because not everybody's designed the same way. And so what's important for us all is to understand that when we have certain health issues or we want to mitigate or reduce the risk of certain health issues, you know, we have to get what's uniquely re relevant for ourselves. And so with so much information and so many different opinions, and as a medical doctor over the last 30, 35 years, they lose count now. I mean, everybody has a different opinion about what's right and what's wrong. And so for you, the listener, and I don't know you personally, I don't know what's going on in your life. And I don't know what issues you're dealing with, but I do understand the process by which we can make better decisions. And so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to show you, we're going to share with you that process of a specific problem coming to a specific resolution so that you can understand the process by which you can make better decisions for yourself. And this is going to be through role playing. But before I go into exactly how we can do the role playing, I got to in, introduce you to these amazing people. They're both chiropractors because they also really understand how to tap into the wellness so much better than many of my colleagues out there. And this is no criticism of my colleagues. It's just the fact that my other chiros have focused on something else. So Dr. Haas and Dr. Curtis, please introduce yourselves. And then we're going to talk a little bit more how we can do the role playing. And then we'll dive into this whole process. Dr. Haas, who are you? Where are you coming from? I am. Hi, guys. I'm Dr. Hasim Mohammed, and I am in Boynton Beach, Florida. I'm a chiropractor that, uh, like Curtis, uses chiropractic biophysics to really help people realign their body so that their brain can connect with every single cell in, cell in their body. Um, that's the, the foundation of what we do is real simple. If the body knows how to heal itself, we just have to create the right conditions and help bring them back into alignment and allow the body to do, do what it knows how to do. I love it. I'm going to learn a lot more about Dr. Haas and how he does some of his work. Dr. Curtis. Hi there. Uh, my name is Dr. Curtis Fedorchuk. I am originally from Winnipeg, Canada. I now live in Cumming, Georgia, just north of Atlanta. I've been in practice 22 years. Um, I, my office name is called Better Health by Design. And for years, um, our, our mission is to help people reach a new improved level of living. We say we advocate for our patients through research, finding out what's best for them and what's have been shown to help them the most or what won't harm them if they try it. And uh, we've seen people from nine different countries in the world for the unique things that we offer. And uh, we're just, our mission and number and priority in the office is always to help people get better. Awesome. And that is actually my mission. And the reason for this podcast as well is giving you the resources and finding the resourcefulness so that you can find a way to your better health, no matter what state you're in. So what's going to happen next? So um, Haas is going to start off with presenting with a particular problem and going to have a dialogue with Dr. Curtis for about six minutes regarding this problem. And Dr. Curtis will uh, somewhat guide, or shall I say, guide to a somewhat resolution to that specific problem. And then what we're going to do is we're going to unpack all of that. Because what I want you to leave with today is some insight and some specific action step that you can take for yourself so that you can help you or perhaps help somebody that you care about in their health journey as well. So we'll get started. So I'll start off with Dr. Haas. Uh, what role are you gonna play and, and what state you're gonna be in? Um, so I'm the usual patient that comes in that's looking for a quick crack. Um, that's all I want. Um, the usual patient? You mean the rare patient? <laughs> the, 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 they, they don't want anything else. They, they just want to crack and they think that that's going to, as long as they get that noise, that that fixes all of their problems. Um, they don't want to look, they don't want to see, they don't want to know. And uh, I was Great. sent by, mm, I have an uncle named Bunny. I okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So what I, what I heard you say <clears throat> is... Oftentimes, patients believe they know what they need, 
and they want that quick fix. They want it right away. They don't want to spend a lot of money and they expect everything to change overnight or instantly. Am I, am I accurate on that, Haas? Instantly. All right, yeah. great. Dr. Curtis, what is your role and uh, what kind of state are you going to be in? I'll be the ever most patient practitioner. Grateful that one of our patients sent in one of their lost friends and we'll do our best to see if we're a good fit for each other. Awesome. All right. So let's get started, Dr. Haas. Uh, hi, uh, Dr. Curtis. Is that I'll it? do it this way. So usually patients are sitting in the waiting room, so I'll come in. Hey, Haas, how are you? I'm Dr. Curtis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dr. Curtis. Heard a lot of great things about you, man. I'm happy. So that's my first question is, how did you hear about us? Uh, my Uncle Bunny. Your Uncle Bunny. Ah. Uh, name is. I haven't seen him for a while, but very good, Bunny. Yeah, very good. And so he sent you in here, so he told you a little bit about us. Yeah, he said you're the best. You're, you're, you're the, the best. Well, we pay him a lot to say that. All right. So did he tell you anything else about us? No, no. He said, you know, you you, you got great hands and uh, I just need a crack. I just need, you know, like I slept. Got back. it. All right. So he lied to you. Oh, well, why did you do that? <laughs> no, great hands. So actually, so first thing, so what's going on with you? Yeah, my I think I just slept bad. You know, my, my neck hurts here. It's, it's been hurting like that for a long time. You know, something like how long a month, a year, a few years off and on. It comes on a few it. years on your form here. It says you've been to a chiropractor before. Yeah, yeah, they, they were good. They, they, you know, dropped me on the table and give me a little crack and I was better. You know, it's good. For When's the last time you were adjusted? About five years ago. Five years. Wow. Five years ago. OK. Um, and quick question. So what did your x-rays look like when they took them? Uh, they they didn't do all that, you know. I didn't. I didn't. They didn't do all that, as in they didn't any, do any X-rays. No. Gotcha. Okay. Have you ever had X-rays? Um, they just put me on the table and and you know like did their thing and heard a loud pop and I felt better. Gotcha. So is it a family friend that adjusted you or who was it? Um. Like is it someone local that I would know? I, I yeah, a guy down the road, but um. Right. You don't have to tell me. It's irrelevant. So just some say so no imaging and they and they pop your neck and then now you're having problems now for a couple more years so how quick another quick question why didn't you go back to them um just because you know uncle bunny was raving about you <laughs> not enough if it took you two years to get here right <laughs> i don't want to bust on you but so the concern is so if something was not a big deal don't you think it would resolve after two years yeah it just happens every once in a while but for two years it's happening every once in a while yeah getting a little worse Okay, gotcha. So I just so you know, I'm sorry they didn't tell you. I'll fire the staff in a second. They should have told you when you called. You know, we we take X-rays, right? Yeah, but do we do we have to do that? Can I avoid that? Can I just? I mean, no. Nah, I mean, we can guess. I got a magic eight ball here. We can ask it where to adjust it if you want. We actually have one. I can use that if you like. Would you want me to use that? You guys like just touch and feel and know what's going. No, on. No, no. We take a magic eight ball. We shake it and we say, where do we adjust the seam? Uncle Uncle Bunny's like you know nephew. We actually, I'll do that if you want, right? That sounds ridiculous, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. So yeah, so I've been doing this twenty two years, and pretty much every single person, every single person I've ever seen before I do anything to them, I always actually want to know what their spine looks like, especially if you've had a problem for two years. Chances are, don't you think there's something that's more serious going on? Uh, probably, but probably right. If you had chest pain for two years, over and over again. Do you think your doctor or your MD would keep giving you aspirin over and over again? They do. <laughs> do they? Does it? You're, you have an MD, so you have so chest pain. You. you don't think they'd ever give you, say, hey, you better get an angiogram, you better get a stress head, nothing like that. You don't think they'd do that? Uh, no, but they don't say that. They don't? Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, here we do. Right? So I'm not going to take a chance. And it's, first of all, if there's something I could help you with and prevent it from being long term damage, you're going to be grateful I took them. Also, if there's nothing wrong with you that needs further evaluation, then you're going to be happy I took them as well. So it's not like there's no need, right? It's not, we do it because like my reputation and your health is the most important things in this office to me. So I don't do anything until I have imaging so I can see, you know, how I can best help you. Okay. Does that make sense? When you put it that way, yeah. Okay. So you're open to films then? Do it. Very good. Doc, is that long enough or you want us to keep going? Uh, yeah, got one more minute, two more minutes. Just uh, what else minute. needs to happen? Um, I'll tell us. <laughs> so I'll just add a little story that I say to folks sometimes. They're like, hey, I've been getting adjusted forever with no x-rays. I'm like, okay. Well, Haas, that's good to know. But have you ever played the game Jenga? Do you yeah. know what the game that is? 
you know yeah. the blocks pull, pull the thing out and everything pull the things out now no matter how careful no matter how precise no matter how accurate no matter how smooth you are eventually what happens when you pull out one of those blocks everything crashes down everything crashes so then that's the later stages so you've been jangled on for years and now i'm like the last player to come in and i'm going to be like uber smooth and then something could potentially go wrong and is that my fault no no it's nothing to do with me it's just like i'm the i'm the last guy in the end here so that's why we take films yeah. right because i don't i don't want to hurt you in any way and i want to i'll say i just want to help you yeah i wonder why nobody else ever took it before it's kind of strange why do you think they don't it's expensive there's that there's liability to it because once you take an image you are responsible for what it says on there once you actually have the image in front of you, you now have a responsibility if you diagnose for example loss of cervical curve which is an icd-10 code now they're responsible for that and if they don't deal with that they don't want to they'd rather roll the dice literally and you know and and not take images so, people so, want to be liked that, that, they don't want to be respected i mean i like you but i'm not interested in being your buddy Right. I'm going to tell you what you want to know, not what, like, I'm going to, I'm not going to tell you what you want to know. I'm going to tell you what you need to know. Love it. All right. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so Dr. Haas, uh, what was that for you? What's going on? And just share a little bit about that. I'll ask the same question to Dr. Curtis, and then we'll go ahead and unpack all of this uh, with some insights and action plans. Well, a lot of times, you know, you have people who've had, um, chiropractic in the past and they, they've never looked you know to see what was going on with their structure because they they didn't have the tools necessarily to really help them change the alignment of their spine so the adjustment has been phenomenal and shown to improve you know range of motion reduce pain reduce you know inflammation improve function but it doesn't change the structure so they end up going back to the same thing over and over again and by the time they get to a cbp office like ours you know, now there's a significant amount more damage and, and you know, arthritis degeneration and their bodies really falling apart, like he's saying with Jenga. Um, so it's important that we help them understand that, that in order to help them the best, really help them be the best, healthiest version of themselves, we need to take a look at what we're working with, you know? So, so what you're really saying is that, you know, whenever anybody presents with any kind of problem, you know, whether it's chiropractic or not, um, usually there's a multitude of other um, factors that are contributing to the actual symptom. And without effectively, you know, diagnosing that and then addressing that, more than likely you're just putting out a Band-Aid, you know, on a big wound and it's not going to change anything. Exactly. That. Is, is that the, what you're um, <clears throat> Go ahead, Curtis. So just, so one of the, there, so embarrassingly to say, <laughs> there is no epidemiology data on the prevalence of subluxation like how, how out of alignment people are in the profession and we actually did just do the first study on it from all the children i've ever seen in my office and we have um we have a computer software that analyzes everything down to like a millimeter and down to like the the reducibility or the uh, inter-examiner reliability um and all that is just like like 99 percent right it's it's very accurate so with that we were able to show that kids who were injured like got hurt were actually injured 30 percent of the time sorry kids who fell who had falls and um and didn't know they actually had spinal damage so what we found is actually spondylolisthesis in their neck and that was 33 like 30 33 percent of the time which is significant because you know kids will fall on their head kids will fall big time parents are like you okay okay brush it off you know they'll flip on a go-kart or a dirt bike or a bicycle or a trampoline right and they'll say oh you're fine walk it off walk it off and then they come into our office when they're 19 and their neck is an s shape which is clearly not normal then they're like what happened to me and then you literally have to trace it back to like how did their neck get like this because an s curved neck for example or a buckling and all that is totally not normal and so now we're seeing that we can actually identify this stuff when they're younger and not only identify it but actually fix it which is the difference and that's what i try to tell patients is that hey if i'm just like I'm not screening. I'm not just looking for red flags, whether you have like aneurysms or cancer, the films actually give us something to actually better your outcomes, right? Cause that's what they, they talk about. Well, just x-ray me if you think there's danger. Well, the danger is you're out of alignment, right? Like that's long-term. Um, if I, and of course, if you think there's any immediate danger, like pathologies, yeah, of course you x-ray them and people usually don't refuse that, but 
they have to understand that what we do uniquely, again, which very few people do, is we're like an orthodontist to dentistry. So we're actually not just looking at you and saying, yeah, you got crooked teeth, live with it, floss more. We're actually going to change the shape of it. So, so let, let me translate that using also somewhat of Dr. Haas's terms. And, and this is unfortunately a major area in our optimum health that actually most people are completely ignoring, and that's the structural aspect. And if you think of your spinal cord as a super highway of information, and when there's any kind of defect or any kind of deviation of that, that's going to affect the information going to the rest of your body. So it's not just your muscles, right, but every organ in your body. And, and this is something that Dr. Hass enlightened me the other day and, and really got, gave me much more clarity. And I already knew this with the research that I've been doing over the last couple of years. But that information, I mean, the volumes of information, not just through hormones and, and other chemicals uh, or through the nervous system, but also through the energy pathways is so critical. And so I guess, I mean, if you're like any kind of rambunctious kid, you probably have some sort of misalignment. If you yeah. join any kind of sport, you probably have some sort of misalignment. And so ignoring that part of your structure uh, is it is a major fault in optimizing your health? Uh, exactly. So, what do you guys say, Dr. Haas? Go ahead. Yep. So, so that that's the unfortunately, and and kind of like what we were talking about before. It's something that most people just never think of until it becomes an issue. Until it becomes a real issue. I mean, one of the like you see these people with the on their phones with with their head down like this, and the effect. I just happen to have a spine right here, by the way. Right. <laughs> when your brain is sitting here and you have that normal curve in your neck and it's able to transmit that message we can measure that and that's what i love about cbp and dr curtis and dr deed harrison and the guys who put all the effort into this is to really demonstrate how changing that you know how if you squish those discs down put pressure on the spinal cord put pressure on the nerves what effect is that going to have you know and we see that when we measure how your brain communicates with the rest of your body, it slows that process down. When we look at even elite athletes and young elite athletes, and you see people who have that forward head posture or that kink in their neck, and then you help them bring that back and they get a 20% improvement in it. What does that mean to an athlete? You know, what was the difference between the person who comes first in a hundred meter race and the person who comes second, you know? So and that's actually just recently been proven. Dr. Rademacher is, um, uh, the University of Cairo, Egypt, about uh, probably a decade ago, started looking up the research that's been done by Dr. Harrison and CBP nonprofit. And they actually kind of wanted to test it themselves. Like, is this real? So they started doing it themselves and finding out like, wow, this is really amazing stuff. And it actually just came out actually in a Q1 journal. It's called the Journal of Clinical Medicine. And actually there's randomized trials showing that spinal cord velocity actually improves by 25% when it's in proper alignment like when you have a normal model and um so when they when it gets close to the normal model and that's one of every single patient i see before i go over the report of findings we always let them know hey so i took those x-rays you know you're reluctant and very few people are reluctant to take them because we they know why we're doing it but i go remember why we took these x-rays now before i even go over them with you i'm going to ask you a question what is normal blood pressure and they're like i have no idea I go, you don't? I go, for a million dollars, what is normal blood pressure? And they go, 120 over 70. I'm like, oh, well, it's 120 over 80. But notice how for a million dollars, you could figure it out because you've heard it somewhere. You've heard it on TV. It's popular. People talk about their blood pressure. It's bad. It's high. It's low, whatever. And they're like, yeah, okay. So you know what's out there. I go, next question is, what if I told you your blood pressure is 200 over 150, what would you say? Well, it's high. Is that good or bad? Well, it's bad. Why is it bad? Because uh, it's a high number. I don't know. Like, what does it do to you? I have no idea. I go, well, if I came to your house and I doubled the water pressure into your home, what are you worried about happening? My pipe's blowing. So what are you worried about happening when your blood pressure is high? My, my, my blood bursting in my head. Right. Or heart attack. So now you know there's a normal, you know there's a high, and you know what it does to you. So now I'm going to show you on your spine there's a normal, there's a high and low, and you're going to know what it does to you. And then when we show them that, it becomes way more clear, like you're talking about, how it's, a, it's this information highway. It supplies everything. And when you get a loss of lordosis, it has been shown for years, back in uh, the European Spine Journal even, 
to where the diameter of the spinal cord actually shrinks. There's a guy named Alf Bright. His textbook sells on eBay right now. It's like, oh, it's like, it sells for $1,500. It's, it shows his studies how the spinal cord actually tethers when you lose your curves. And that affects your body in so many ways. And now we have recently in the last couple of months, even these randomized trials showing that that has been true all along and how it, as Dr. Haas said, it affects sports performance, health, everything. So a tensegra structure, and I'm sure you've heard that before, right? Have you heard that term? I haven't. You never heard tensegra structure? Oh, I'm sorry. Because... Yes, 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 yes. I, I misunderstood. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, but uh, I, I talk too fast. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, explain that. And we do have to wrap it up shortly, but oh, gotcha. that is a really interesting concept yeah. that um, I'm actually experiencing myself right now, but that's for a later show. Um, explain that real quick. And then also explain your specialty because um and if you can do all that in a minute and a half minute uh, half. So that people get a context of what that specialty is and how unique it that is um and then we'll okay. wrap it up dr oz you okay with me doing that we are we are the orthodontist to dentistry so dentistry a raising service they pull the plaque out of your teeth widen up your teeth great but they don't straighten your teeth we do that so it's we if you have if you have too much curve, we put the right amount in. If you have no curve in your spine, we put the right amount in. If you're front to back, you should be plumb line straight. If you're crooked, we straighten you out. We are we are experts at doing that. Like that is people see us just for that. We, we even correct spondylolisthesis, which still, even though we've published several things in like PubMed journals, they still say it's unfixable. But we actually we have hundreds of cases where we have. Well, let, let me translate that and ten segregates integrity, if that's the proper way of saying it, is simply yeah. this. So we have a structure that's bone, and then we have all the muscles and the ligaments, and all of that is in a, a dynamic interplay in balance and harmony. And Correct. whenever any particular area is kind of um, dysfunctional, then it affects the entire system. And this is what people need to understand, is that right. when you have, for example, uh, an issue with your toe, make it minimal, it's going to affect everything else. And so even the, the whole craniosacral alignment. And I remember once I had this great therapist, you know, he, I came in because I had a hip issue and um, he adjusted something in my scalp. And I'm thinking to myself, how's that even possible? And I felt an immediate relief. I know we've got to wrap it up. I know that we could talk a little bit more about this, but like Dr. Haas to kind of share a little bit about himself. How do people get a hold of him? Uh, one final comment from Dr. Haas. We'll go to you, Dr. Curtis, and then we'll finalize this show. Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much for this opportunity, first of all. And I'm in Boynton Beach, Florida, um, CairoBoynton.com. Uh, it's another level health. And if you Google my name, H double A double S double E M, I said, yep, two A's, two S's, two E's, and one M. And then Mohammed, M O H A M M E D. Um, I am fortunate enough to be a part of this CVP family, the chiropractic biophysics group. And, you know, one of the, if you look at the area that I'm in, I have a lot of elderly people, a lot of people coming in with, you know, hyperkyphosis where their body's too rounded. And along with that, like you were talking about with the tensegrity and how your body functions, it ends up ro rounding their shoulders forward. You see a lot of rotator cuff injuries you know, a lot of neck issues starting to develop as a result of that. As you start falling back, you see a lot of those things start to happen and really affects people's quality of life. That's the thing. I'm not trying to get a crack out of you. You know, it, it affects how you're able to, to go and show up in your day, how you're able to be with, with the people that you love, you know, how you're able to see your future. So truly, truly honored to be a part of this chiropractic biophysics group. And, um, you know, just honored to be here and, and i hear a lot of people um are raving about you and it's it's almost uh comparable i would say should say it is comparable uh, to someone who is blind and suddenly can see or someone who's deaf and suddenly can hear that's the impact that the work that they they these gentlemen have and what i love about <clears throat> what both of them are saying and i'll let dr curtis you know, wrap it up as well is the precision and the target approach that they implement in their practice like none other. And rather than just thinking, oh, it's a body, let's just do a couple of massages and adjust here and there, their precision is uncanny. And some of the recommendations that uh, Dr. Haas has given me personally 
uh, every time that I do the treatment or the the exercise, I should say, I instantly feel that it's working. Dr. Curtis, um, wrapping up, where you're from, um, how do people get a hold of you, and any final statement you want to share? Um, just to piggyback what Dr. Haas said, just very grateful to be out here in the opportunity, and hopefully this has impact. And when someone goes to get x-rays, you understand why it's important or you know, the practitioner able to convey to their patient why. And again, thank you to you for even having this. Um, and how do people find us is uh, it's betterhealthbydesign.com. That's our business website. That's our clinic website. Uh, for a lot of the research that we've done, just because it's a good, we, we, I publish stuff so other patients can see what's out there and then they can go see other practitioners like Dr. Haseem. Uh, but it's called ishpnonprofit.com. And it's just a list of all of the cases we've done and studies on conditions and a whole host of stuff. And also um, a good resource is idealspine.com. And then that's, you can put in your zip code and it'll tell you uh, the types of practitioners who've had either basic certification or advanced certification or instructor status um, uh, to where you know a patient could go and they could get a good referral and most likely you know good care at that particular location. Great resources. Uh, awesome. So thank you for that. And the listener, you can notice that the, the precision and the certainty and the confidence that these two gentlemen have in the approach that they have, you know, for some, it might be somewhat direct, but here's the truth. You know, when it comes to this kind of work or in fact, any kind of work, you know, we have to be pretty direct. We have to be pretty precise because the work they, they do when it's precisely done has tremendous results. And when it's imprecisely done, it just doesn't work. And I love the fact that you guys are ventured out into this, you know, super specialty of chiropractic. So it's not just some fluff as some people think it might be in what I once thought it was, but with all the work that chiropractors are doing today, I have a lot more respect and quite frankly, appreciate the, the work that, you know, they're doing that we as medical doctors need to be doing as well. And I'm going to wrap it up by saying this is that unfortunately so often, you know, it's more like a systems approach, you know, whether it's a liver problem or a cardiac problem or a lung problem, when in reality, it's a lot of different problems and the structural aspect is always going to play a role. And so that's always something that you always want to investigate. Um, Dr. Haas, Dr. Curtis, thank you so much. Thank you. And I am, and I am Dr. Bart Rademacher, and this is the Doctor's Guide podcast, raw and unfiltered, and bringing to you the authentic voices of others to help you figure out how to be more discerning, have critical thinking, and making the informed decisions that you need to make so that you can better your health and longevity. And we will be back with Dr. Haas and Dr. Curtis. Thank you very much. <laughs>